Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I want to talk about M Sound Factory. So last time I did a video on M Sound Factory, I talked about the oscillator shaper, and I talked about how it could make some interesting sounds, especially sounds that sounded a bit like FM synthesis. And today I want to do something similar. But instead of talking about something that sounds like FM synthesis, I thought, let's actually do FM synthesis. So if you're wondering, like, how do you do that? There's actually a dedicated FM module. So if you just click here in the matrix, go to FM, and we have it. To make it a little bit bigger so you can see it, we'll just click this button here. It pops out. And you see here it has lots of things you normally see in the other modules, like volume, of course. It has the pitch, so you can adjust the octaves and semitones, etc. So that's fairly easy. Now, here it says operators, and it has some controls you probably recognize, like, for example, sine. You can change this shape to whichever oscillator type you want. It has pulse width modulation, which I think is kind of rare in FM synth synths. I haven't seen too many with pulse width modulation. You can change the octave, uh, semitone, and sense. And if you want to do it another way, you can adjust the ratio. So it's up to you if you want to use octaves and semitones or ratios, which I think is good. Has this width knob, and this will actually adjust, I believe, the tuning between each side. So by turning it up, it will uh, increase one side in pitch, I believe, compared to the other, which will give it a, a stereo spread. You can change the phase, you can add noise to it, you can add a low pass filter, which is actually really useful. Many times with FM synthesis, when you're playing high notes, it causes aliasing. And one way to get rid of that is by using the oversampling, which is up here. But of course, that takes a lot more CPU. Another way to do it is using this low pass filter. So this is actually really useful. Uh, there's, of course, the level and the pan. But you're looking here and you're probably like, hey, there's only one operator. But here you can choose up to eight operators. So if I click this, you see, oh, wow, we have eight. But uh, let's just move it down to three just so it's a little bit larger. You can see it a little bit easier. And I can actually make this a bit smaller. There we go. I think you can still see that, though. So from here, if you look at the bottom, you see this matrix. And here, this is vertically, it just goes directly down. So this is operator one. So this is the output to operator one here at the bottom. So now I have them all set to sine waves. So if I push it, it's not going to sound that interesting. Right? OK, it's pretty boring. So let's turn these two off. And if I change this to something else, like a uh, sine square, a little bit different, or uh, triangle, triangle part. I don't even know what that is. Triangle. And then the other one I can change to something else. So let's say if I change the ratio to two here, and then I actually turn it on. So you see it changes everything. So I think that's fairly easy to understand. But now if we look at the sides here, so vertically it goes directly down. And then from the side, uh, the first one here, this is the feedback into itself. So let me turn these off so you can hear it. So this is just the triangle by itself. Now this is operator one feeding back into itself. So as you heard, it quickly turns into noise if you use lots of feedback. And the next one down, it's a different color, it's green. And this is going over into output two. So if I do it now, since there's no output for two, you won't hear anything. It's not doing anything. But if I do the same thing here, output two, here's the sine wave. And then if I increase this send, Okay, so you can see how that works. And the same thing with three here. So if I do this. So by doing things this way, you can easily create FM sounds and you can use as many or as few operators as you want. And if you notice these little uh, boxes next to them, you can use these and you can control all of these uh, different levels using like mod wheel here or envelope. So if I wanted to do something like this, just set up an envelope like this, however you like. Adjust the depth here. Yeah, so I have it for this. And now you should be hearing something that sounds like a, 
uh, just a tight envelope, almost pluck sound. And you can set up all those however you like. If you're thinking like, ah, how am I supposed to like, you know, get started with this? If you look in here, it has, oh, not there, here actually, the matrix. You see it has some setup for you already. So you don't have to go through, you know, trying to find out the right combinations yourself. And on top of that, there's some really cool things at the top, like the depth. So this will control the overall send level. So if I turn all these on like this. So now I have some FM going. The depth will control the amount of each of these. So if I turn it down, it'll just turn them back to sine waves and the triangle like this. And if I turn it up, it will increase all these levels all together. So that way I don't have to do them all separately with diff with the same envelopes. You can just use this as kind of like a global envelope. And the shape is somewhat similar. If you go to this question mark, you can get the help and you can read it yourself. So here it talks about like the depth, controls the overall send level, the modulation signal driving one oscillator by others, and the shape transforms all sends and feedback in the matrix. So that basically is, you know, overview. So if you're ever wondering, like, what does this do? You can just check these question marks and it'll tell you. On top of that here, you see some of these are blanked out and these are the feedback. So if I enable that, I, it allows me to send uh, the feedback from operator two back into one like this. So there's all sorts of things you can do with this. It's really cool and very useful, but... You're thinking, like, okay, like, how could I actually use this for a sound? So I'll show you something I did with this. Let's look here. Here's one I made. You see the matrix? Somewhat complicated, but I think it's actually not that bad. But you're thinking, like, what is it? And it's actually an FM electric piano. So I'll show you the easy screen. It's easier to understand, like this. It sounds like this. Okay, so it's just like that old 1980s sound. And of course you can adjust the timbre here. Is it timbre or timbre? I'm not sure. And you can adjust how the transients sound here. And by adjusting the width of everything, you can actually get more stereo depth like this. So, you sound like an old 80s soap opera. Anyway, I'll show you another way you can do FM because there's actually two ways. So if you're thinking, that's cool, but I want to use more waveforms or what if I want to FM something else? Another way you can do this is by just choosing, let's say, two oscillators here. Oscillator one, oscillator two. Let's set this as a triangle. Let's set this as a sine wave here. I'll drop this an octave. Now, we can do like more basic FM here by clicking here, and we want to use merger. By using merger, we can combine any two things together. So if I right-click on it, you see this menu. I choose steel sidechain and two because it's in lane two and it just sends it directly into this. Now here I have it on mix. So if I put it on one side, this is the first one with the sign with the octave down. And if I move it here, this is the triangle. But we don't have to use mix. There's other ones too, like frequency modulation. So now it's a wet dry and the depth is here. There's another FM uh, algorithm here where it has frequency modulation. And you see here at the bottom it has uh, oversampling and of course you can modulate the depth. And there's, you can even change, change the oversampling algorithm. And so 
This is more difficult to set up if you're going to be using a lot of different oscillators. So if I was just going to use sine waves and triangle waves with lots of different, I guess, oscillators or operators, I'd probably use the FM module. But in this case, I'm using oscillator. But you can do this with samples. You do this with wavetables or whatever you want. So in that case, I might want to use this merger instead. And so I think that's one of the great things about M Sound Factory is you can kind of you know, set it up however you want, and there's lots of creative possibilities that aren't available with other synths. You can combine many different types of synthesis together to create your own sounds. So I hope this gave you an idea of what the FM module can do. Uh, sorry I didn't play a lot in this one. I wanted to do more of an explanation, but if you want to hear more of what FM can do, let me know and I might make another one in the future. But if you have any other questions, leave those down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Check out all the other plugins at meldaproduction.com. And until next time, see you.